Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John and today I'm going to show you some quick tips on how to convert numbers stored as text. A lot of times when you get data out of a GL software or ERP system, the text that's inside the cells is uh, our numbers, but they're actually stored in the worksheet as text. And you can tell when they have that small green arrow on the top left corner of the cell. Uh, those numbers are actually stored as text and there's a little error box there um, that shows you that this number is stored as text. So there's built-in function in Excel to just convert that cell to a number. You can click that and it'll do that and then this this cell actually becomes a number. And obviously if you have values like sales dollar values um, in product codes and those types of things you want to convert those to numbers so you can do calculations on them. Uh, this is also useful if you're doing VLOOKUPs and uh, some of your lookup or references are stored as numbers and then these new values you have are stored as text that can cause error in your VLOOKUPs. So there's a lot of good reasons to convert these to numbers. However, sometimes when you have a really large sheet of data, it becomes cumbersome because you have to select all the cells in the column or maybe all the cells on the worksheet uh, to, to then um, before you can then convert them. So you can you can select multiple cells and use that function. It just becomes tough to to select them all and sometimes you'll lose this box altogether. So I'm going to show you some quick tips on how to actually do that a little faster. Um, if you as long as you're in a, or have a cell selected that has this box um, appearing to the left of it, you can use some keyboard shortcuts to then select all the cells in your worksheet. Uh, if you click Control plus A, you'll select all the cells in the range. Uh, and then if you, if you hit Control plus A again, you'll select all the cells in the worksheet. So Control A once will select all the cells in the contiguous range. And if you have a, a blank column, like in this example, um, then if you hit Control A again, it'll select all the cells in the entire worksheet. Then that same error box should be in the top left corner of the worksheet, and you can use the Convert to Number function to convert all of your uh, numbers stored as text to numbers. Uh, another option, if you just want to highlight all the cells in this column, let's say column B, um, again, you want to start with one cell that contains the error, and you can click Control plus Spacebar on the keyboard. It's Control plus Spacebar, and that'll highlight the entire column, and the error box should be at the top of the column, and you can do the same thing, convert to number. That'll convert the entire column uh, to numbers. That same feature also works um, by using shift plus spacebar to select the entire row. And you'll see again that the uh, air, bo air box is over there on the left side. If you wanted to do the conversion on more than one column, uh, you could first uh, click control plus spacebar to select this uh, column D. And then if you hold down the shift key and use the left or right arrows, you can select multiple columns. So if we just wanted to convert these two columns to numbers, we could have those selected and then we'll have the air box up here and uh, click the convert to number. And then we just, we're just only selecting those two columns to do the conversion. It works the same with the, the rows as well. If you hold shift plus space bar, you'll select the entire row and then you can hold down the shift key and use the up and down arrows to uh, select more than one row. Once you have the row selected, you could then uh, see the error box on the left side and click Convert to Number. So that's a quick way to select all your cells in a column or in a range uh, and then convert them to numbers using the built-in function in Excel. There are other ways to do this using the text to column functions on the data menu as well. Um, and you can also use formulas. You could use a paste special and do a multiplication on the text in the cell itself. There's a lot of different ways to, to do this, but I find that the fastest and easiest is to use the built-in features in Excel. 
It's just a matter of knowing how to select the, the entire range that you want to, to convert. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, please uh, leave a comment or email me. Thank you.